Okay, so that's the eyes done. Now we've just cut a hole in the top there to put the bait bag in next. So Nigel's made us a bait bag just out of the the uh, yellow mesh that we were using. Just stitched up the side there and just gathered together the bottom. And we've left a wee tail of green rope on the bottom to tie it down to the stone. So we'll get Nigel now to show us how we tile this in. Just pushing it down through the hole. And just a grounding up with a stopping up. Now this is not so crucial that we tie every single mesh now so you can just loop through one or loop through a couple and then tie a knot. Probably be more meshes in the bait bag than in the hole so maybe need to put two or three together to bunch it up. So just tied off with the two half edges and I'll stop or not. <coughs> and the tail we left on the bottom can then be tied onto the stone. The blue rope that we tied the stone in with, we can just tie the bait bag down onto that. So just to finish the bait bag off, what Nigel has done is just threaded a black cord around the top eyes of the bait bag and it just shows when you pull on it there it will pull that bait bag closed and you can tie that off for when you're, when you're fishing to keep the bait secure. I've cut this extra hole in the side here just um, to help us when we're trying to get lobsters and crabs out of the creels. So we've uh, just cut a hole here that we can get our hands in, get stuff out, and it's just laced together then with that black cord to secure it when it's in the water fishing.